when we thought about this insane idea, I think we expected there might be four or five people who would make this trek. Um, and we've been totally overwhelmed by the support. Americans, no matter who they vote for or what party they belong to, have come to realize that so long as our elections are paid for by big money and special interests, Congress is only going to serve big money and special interests. See, if you know how politics works, you're wasting your time doing anything but this. So there's no way you're going to win on any other issue if you don't win on this issue. It's a system of corruption, but it can be fought and it can be defeated. The way to change it is to make sure that this system of corruption is the one issue our candidates can't hide from. We need to convince New Hampshire's voters that before they cast their vote in the presidential primary, that they will make sure that the candidates who come to town halls and some speeches all across the state answer the only question that truly matters in America today. What are you going to do to stop the system of corruption in Washington, D.C.? The people that we've met so, so far up here in the North Country, who have absolutely, I've seen, uh, just absolutely gravitate to what we're doing. And I think it has far exceeded my expectations. Last January, we set out on foot to spread our message across 180 miles of New Hampshire. And this January, we're doing it again, but bigger. We're marching from every corner of the state, everywhere from Dixville Notch to Nashua, from Keene to Portsmouth. We're going to meet up in Concord to declare with one voice that we will not sit idly by while our country is sold piece by piece to the highest bidder. We're the New Hampshire Rebellion. Join us at nhrebellion.org.